Hey everybody, it's Matt from Electric All Wheel. It's a rainy day here in Florida, still humid as all get out. Uh, but we wanted to take you through some of the most prominent questions that we're getting for the dual battery discharge balancer kit for the electric e-bikes. What I first wanted to share with you is this is my primary. This is my electric XP high step and we've done the David brand new upgrade with the turtleneck stem, the BMX, we've got the thumb throttle with the ergonomic grips and side view mirrors from electric and then we've also done the dual battery discharge balancer install here and then hung the battery over uh, the top of the electric bike lock that is positioned in its original location. We could have taken this battery, removed this, and then swapped positions, and that's still possible, but right now we're just hanging tight with uh, the location of the lock, and then when I need to use it, I just swing the battery out of the way. What I wanted to do was take you through some of the most prominent questions that we're getting in reference to the dual battery discharge balancer. So let's get started. The first question is, do I have to use the battery that you recommend? Absolutely not. I have right here a high long 13 amp hour 48 volt battery. And then this is one of the first iterations that we've had. And you'll see that this bike is cracked open so you know that the connection is not made. And then all I'm gonna do is turn it on. And there you go, that's this battery only. So this is not the recommended battery, but it does have an XT60 connector. Uh, I believe Juana Scorza uses a battery like this and he went ahead and mounted right here on the body of his bike. The next question is, is there an easier way to store the wires and such inside the frame? Now we've done a model video and then actually did a reconfiguration in the high step uh, for another customer just to make sure that we had an orientation that worked. So I've found three separate orientations that I go with. So some of these are gonna be trial and error, trial by fire. The one thing I must tell you is just take your time. Make sure your connections don't break. Make sure your connectors are all in together. Take your time. It will fit. It does fit. Many, many people have done this and I've done at least three different configurations on all three bikes and it will work. So take your time, it'll get in there. I know that it seems crowded, but it's really not. There's a lot of space behind the controllers where the actual wires come in. So just keep that in mind as you're moving forward and then follow some of the videos that we've got online on our YouTube channel. And by the way, if you haven't already, give us a like and subscribe. We really appreciate it. It helps us keep our growth in motion. On to our next question. Can this kit work on an XP light? And the answer is yes. The XP light has the Dean's T plug and the adapters that come in the kit do fit that. The XP Lite has a smaller amp hour 48 volt battery and I believe the current limiter is lower than 20. So the controller will control the current limit, not the discharge balancer, which is set to 20 amps. For most of the XP's, it, the discharge balancer has a limiter at 20 amps, which is higher than the factory conditions for the controller. So you're all good there. Next question is, can I charge both batteries through the discharge balancer? And the answer is no. You're gonna need to charge both of your batteries using the chargers that came for those batteries. If you purchase the recommended battery from the Amazon link that we've provided, that charger will actually charge your electric XP battery that is inside the frame step through or high step. We had another question where it was, what is the proper sequence of events to check to see that your bike is actually working? Uh, one of the easiest ways, which is visual confirmation, is you can crack it open and you know that by trying to turn it on, you get no reaction because the bike is open. There's no contact here on the battery. And what I can do to prove this to you is take and plug in my extra battery to my XT60, still cracked open, and then I'll come up here and then turn on the bike. And that is from this battery here. So this is a good check. This is how you wanna go about making sure that you're getting connection for both. So what I can do is also unplug this battery, 
put it back in line, and then turn it on. And we know that only one battery is working and it is actually the frame battery for this XP. A lot of questions about being able to use the newly released extended frame battery from Electric as your second battery. We are working on an adapter to make that possible but right now. It is not set up to connect to the five pin connectors on the head plate of a electric battery, which looks like this. We utilize as the secondary connection an XT60. And of course in the kit, this connection is black. But what we wanna say is that it is possible we do not recommend cracking open the electric battery, so we are also working on an adapter, and there are some people that have actually gone out there and modified on their own, but we, we hope to bring to you a, an adapter that will actually plug and play and use clip it on, and it'll be fine, and it will work, so you will just bag your second external uh, battery, which would be your secondary frame battery or the, the newly released long range battery from electric. Another question that we've gotten is, will this kit void my warranty? Remember your warranty is a year long. Let me read you the language from electric's website. Any unauthorized alterations, tampering or repairs are not covered by this warranty. What I can tell you right now is that this kit has not been authorized by the brand electric the electric e-bike company, nothing associated to this kit has been formally authorized. What I will tell you is that after a year, it doesn't matter. And also the principle behind making this kit was that it was plug and play. There is no cutting of wires. There's no soldering. There's nothing there. You just unplug and plug them in. The only thing that you may disrupt is a little piece of tape that is on the Dean's T-plug inside your controller housing. A lot of people have been asking just what is in the kit and those are generally comments for those who haven't purchased so let me show you. Inside the kit you'll have two XT60 extension cables, one discharge balancer with black cabling and black XT60 connectors, and then you'll have the two XT60s to Dean's T-plug adapters. Another question we get is what does an XT60 adapter look like? Generally speaking this is what you're going to find. This is an XT60 connector. And if we were to hook this up with our discharge balancer, which is another XT60, you will see that they plug in like this. This is the common color for most XT60s out there. And you will see the opposing version here on the battery. We chose the XT60 connectors because it is a quality connector and it fits the bill at this amp rate or this current discharge rate. This is a perfect setup for the electric XP 2.0. Another question we get is why do the batteries need to have the same voltage? You have a low voltage cutoff on your controller. You have an offset, perhaps a 36 volt battery and a 48 volt battery the general low voltage cutoff for a 36 will be lay, way lower than that of a 48. All that aside, all you really need to do is make sure that your second battery matches the voltage. So for electrics, it's 48 volts for the controller, so make sure your secondary battery is 48 volts. And then finally, we had a question about whether or not the balancers can be used in series, meaning can I add another balancer on top of the one that I've already installed? So let's go ahead and demonstrate this. So I have here my XT60 from my secondary battery hookup on my electric XP. We see that the frame is cracked, so we know that we're not gonna be able to turn it on. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my second dual battery discharge balancer. And then I'm gonna take my external battery and just plug it in to one of the uh, end sources for the dual battery discharge balancer. And then I'm just gonna go for power. And you'll see that it is actually working. And then I'm gonna give it a jerk here so you can see that it's moving. So on this bike, there are now two dual battery discharge balancers. Only one battery is operating it. If I clip this closed and unplug it, it would still work. And then if I put a secondary battery on this one, it would work as well. 
All right, that's it. I just wanted to take everybody through this so we could answer any questions that you may have. We're gonna go ahead and put this in the electric playlist on the YouTube channel, and then we'll make some sort of short version hopefully later on. We really hope that this helps everyone out and it helps to calm any fears that you may have about purchasing this and whether or not it's a good kit for you. Check out our electric playlist for a video that outlines the way to wire this externally and also don't forget to check out our shorts. If you haven't already, give us a like and subscribe. Check out our Instagram and TikTok as well. We have the Facebook page where the products are on there and we are refining these social media outlets as we move forward. We really appreciate everyone that has taken a chance on us at Electric All Wheel and also check out our other short videos about all the other e-bikes that we've seen out in the wild. We'll talk to you next time.